Valley of Peyton Place. Starring Dorothy Malone as Constance McKenzie, Ed Nelson as Michael Rossi, Ryan O'Neill as Rodney Harrington, Barbara Parkins as Betty Anderson, Tim O'Connor as Elliot Carson, Christopher Connolly as Norman Harrington, Patricia Morrow as Rita Harrington, James Douglas as Stephen Cord. Some, the night has been endless. For Norman Harrington, the bedroom door has stayed locked. His wife, Rita, simply closed him out of her life. Norman has known for some time that Rita has suffered because of recollections of the late Joe Chernak. He knows that she has seen Chernak in the face and character of Joe Rossi, Dr. Rossi's young brother. But Norman doesn't know that Rita cannot live with her nightmares anymore. the door. Hey, come on. I'm already late for work and I haven't changed clothes yet. Well, come on, Sneaky. When'd you do that? Norman, is Rita there? Rita? No, why? She said she was coming over here? She didn't say anything. She just got up and left. With me snoring away on the couch like a dum-dum. You had an argument? Look, I can't talk. I want to keep the line clear just in case she tries to call. Look, if you hear anything from her, will you call me right away? And if you what hear from... What about Rita? Shh. Ada! And if you hear from her, will you... Yeah, I'll call you. What is it? What happened to Rita? She just took off, I guess. Here you are. Thanks. How do you feel? Oh, you would call it divine punishment. You drink your coffee. It'll make you feel better. It shows you what you know about hangovers. Mm. Oh, Todd, take that away, please. Tom. Ah! I'm sorry. It's all right. Tom, please. Can't you just get me a little one? Oh, no. Come on. Please. I really need it. I won't enjoy it. Susan, no. But. Look, drink your coffee. I don't want the coffee. Well, how about some tomato juice? No. Just a little drink, please. Really, I'm suffering the torture. You can't drink now. But I won't get started if that's what you want. You have to about. go meet the Carsons. Where are you going? I'm going to brush my teeth and then I'm going to have a drink. Susan. Why did you have to tell him I'd be there this morning? Look, I had to make some excuse for you not meeting at the dinner last night. So I told him you had a little stomach. But flu. you didn't have to promise him a, an overnight miracle. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you shouldn't go. Because of the way I look or because of the way I feel? You go back to bed and I'll, uh, I'll try and reach Elliot on the phone. Oh, well, oh. I'm going to fix my face and have a little drink and I'll be on my way. Just count on me. 
Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I may look a little pale and a little wobbly, but because people think it's the flu and not the bottle, and after all, we won't ruin your precious reputation. That's all that counts, right? No, it isn't. I'm your wife, and I should come first, but I don't. Mr. Winter, I have to see you. It'll only take a minute. I know it's awfully early, but I... Oh, come in. Come in. I've been having these awful dreams about Joe Chernick. I, I dreamt that he wanted me back and that he said I'd always be his and I'd never be a wife to Norman. Tom? Excuse me. Susan, I'll, I'll be up in a minute, all right? Now, you know that's not true. You and Norman have a very good marriage. I don't know what I know. I'm so confused. I have to find the answer. At least some answer. We, we can't go on like this. I'm, I'm ruining Norman's life. Tom? Uh, Rita, I hate to ask you this, but uh, could I call you back later this morning? I'm really making a pass to myself, aren't I? You're nothing of the kind. There really is no reason you should be interested in my problems. I am interested and concerned. Tom, it's just that, here. well, uh, Mrs. Winter is a little sick, and... Of course, I shouldn't have burst in here without calling Oh, first. nonsense now. Look, that's what I'm here for. I'll call you very soon. what I found in Matt Swain's old file. The, the original blueprints of the display booth. Thanks, Mr. Carson. Right. Susan Winter come yet? No. Boy, oh boy, I can't figure her being late, even at this hour. Mike? Hi, Mike. Hi. Wow. I want to see this place when you bring in your herd of dancing elephants. I want to see your face when I bring in this herd of dancing elephants. I got your hospital display fixed up, so it'll do everything but pickpocket. Great. Yeah, it's right between the bandstand here and the refreshment booth. Got a large-scale model of the hospital wing with a slot in it for donations. Well, Joe, you looking forward to the great big doings? I guess. Well, Joe's a big city boy. I guess he's used to more sophisticated forms of entertainment. Well, it'll be new experience for you. Well, we almost had the same thing at home, the San Gennaro Festival. It's like a big block party in honor of the Saints Day. You uh, eat a lot and you dance in the streets. That's right. It's the one time that you can make all the noise you want and the cops never bother you. I've been to the San Gennaro Festival. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The year I lived in New York. You must have did an Italian boy then, huh? No, I went alone, but I had fun. Looks like I'll be making your scene this year. I mean, playing it solo to your founder's deal. Nonsense. Mike will be there and we will too. Well, I was uh, speaking about my girl. Oh. That's what your father tried to do. Try to give this child a pretzel. Oh, come on. Is that going to hurt her? Oh, <laughs> she's a big girl. Aren't you, Bombina, huh? Can I hold her? Hello. Oh, she's beautiful, baby. Boy, she looks like she's going to be smart as well as being so pretty. Hmm? Joe, listen to me. Your excuses. We got to get back to the hospital. <laughs> Mike's afraid I'll start bragging again. <laughs> Kelly? Okay, Mike. Come on, Joe.
Joe Rossi down. I saw you with him in the square. He just stopped. Yes, he and Dr. Rossi stopped the chat while. Joe's mean and rotten. He'd stoop to anything. We mustn't let him near her. Are you saying he'd try to harm Kelly? Just keep him away from her. Why? For what reason? Please don't just shake your head, young lady. I'd like to have an answer. Well, I can't tell you that. You hinted some sort of danger from a boy you barely know. I do know him. I know him only too well. We saw each other in New York. You dated Joe Rossi? Look, that's all over with. Just take my word for it. Joe's trouble. But you're still not going to tell us what kind of trouble. You're sure that you're not doing this for personal reasons, something that went on between you two? You're not trying to hit back at something that went on between the two of you? I'm just trying to protect Kelly. From what? I mean, whatever the boy's past, why would he want to harm the baby? He's... he's... Elliot? Look, why are you trying to frighten my wife, anyway? What are you after? What the devil do you want? You know, if she did go with Joe, he, he would have mentioned it to his brother. And Michael's never said anything. Great importance. I'm to meet you in the dining room. I love you. It's very interesting, but hardly news. I plan to prove. Here. Here. Oh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, who's minding the store? Oh, I'm on a coffee break. Why well, should you be gone so long? Y you can start mining the nickels after we're married, Betty. But as for now, behold. <sighs> I want you to choose. Right. I want you to choose one for marriage. No engagement, no, no preliminaries. But you better like it because you're going to be wearing it a lifetime. They're beautiful. They're simple. It's a nice custom, isn't it? Hello. Let's take it. Maybe you'd like something a little more old-fashioned. No, they're, uh, they're all beautiful. Betty, he probably eats here three or four times a week. Don't tense up. Come on. I can't help it. Betty, it's going to happen. He's going to walk into a room. We'll see him across the street, in the movies, the bank, the post office, everywhere. It's going to be a game called running into Stephen. Now, he's not going to go away, and we can't pretend he isn't there. So the future Mrs. Rodney Harrington is just going to have to play it cool. Oh, come on, smile. I can't. I'll never get used to it. What about him? How do you think he feels when he sees us? It's just that one day something's going to snap. And he won't be able to control himself. He can control himself. Come on, relax. That's better. A little smile. Yeah. You know, when I when I see you smile like that, I can't. I can't help feeling sorry for him. What he's lost. Mm -hmm. 